good? We are live with a Stadia stream. We are going to be playing Destiny today. <laughs> hey Alex, first. Nice to see you back here again, being first place again. My day's going good so far. Yeah, I've been getting ready for the stream and uh, setting things up a little bit. So yeah, it's been good so far. I'm excited to do this stream. Um, I was going to do Fortnite stream today. There was a big Fortnite um, update today, but it's not out. The quest I want to do isn't out until reset time. So I'm planning on doing Fortnite tonight. And I wanted to do a Stadia stream today. I've been playing a lot of Tomb Raider on Stadia, but I kind of felt like something maybe a little bit more fast paced today. Um, Tomb Raider does have action moments, but there's a lot of like puzzles and figuring stuff out. Um, and a lot of content has been released in Destiny lately. I am not up to date with the new updates or the new content or anything like that. I play Destiny really casually. Um, I'd like to get into it a bit more and be a bit more serious with my Destiny play, but um, for right now, I'm still kind of like a casual player for sure. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the different expansions and stuff that are out right now. But I do know it's a really fun game to play, um, and it's free on most platforms. So the base game basically called Destiny New Light, it's free on PlayStation, Xbox, PC. I think that's it. <laughs> um, and then if you want, you can pay for more expansions and you can pay for cosmetics and stuff. Um, because I'm a Stadia Pro subscriber, I have access to the game and all of the expansions. So I'm kind of lucky in that sense. So we're going to work through some new content today that um, I haven't played yet. And it's also fairly new to the game as well. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> um, so we're going to be playing on a new planet that I haven't been to. So I will be learning um, and experiencing this for the first time, same as you guys, if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, so it should be pretty fun. The place that we're headed is Mercury. <laughs> hey, Ishan. <laughs> you joined me if it wasn't the middle of the day. I know. I, um, I wish we could play together. Um, I'm gonna have to start doing my Destiny streams at night or something, um, at some point. Tonight, there's a big Fortnite update and a new quest line I want to play too, so tonight I'm gonna be streaming Fortnite. Um, but, uh, I am playing Destiny today, and I know, Ishan, I know you would like to come and play with me. <laughs> um, but it is the middle of the day, unfortunately. So guys, let's get started. So the place that we're going, I think I mentioned, is Mercury. And I'm, s I'm still kind of re-remembering all of the controls <laughs> for, for this game. So I keep opening the wrong things. But anyways, so Mercury is where we're going. I have a bunch of quests to do there. This is the main one I'm working on. Um... Introduction worlds, I need to go to Mercury next. And then once I get there, there's um, a quest I need to do. I can't, this one. Data recovery quest com completed on, on Mercury. Mercury also just happens, it's just random. Um, it happens to be the new, the place of the new expansion. So there's new content on Mercury as well. I'm going to start with the basics and do the old stuff first, but I do want to check out this new content on Mercury if my character is high enough level. I'm not sure if the expansion has like a level cap or anything. Um, so we're just going to get right into it and see what happens. So let's fly on over to Mercury. As It looks kind of strange. It doesn't look like a r the regular planet. Um, so these are the quests I'm going to work on. And look at this. Disturbance on Mercury, the sundial. So I think this is the new expansion symbolized by this eye and the yellow color. So it, Meet Osiris. Yeah, this is the expansion. So it's a fire team, one to three players. So guys, I might stream this when I can get a team together. Um, I do have some friends. Ishan is one of them, obviously, who I play Destiny on Stadia with. So you just play... Oh, Ishan, 
just did it. It was fun almost entirely on Mercury. I was just gonna say we should do this together. Um, but yeah, so this is so this is the new quest line. And it's a lot of fun, says Ishan. So I will I would like to check this out and I would try to do it on stream. Um but I want to just kind of get warmed up and just get like acclimatized to Mercury a little bit first. Ishan, did you do this? This the old campaign quest data recovery quest. Let's go there, guys. Anyway, sorry. Uh, here we go. So we'll fly there. No, you didn't do that part. OK. That one you're looking at new. Yeah, so the Osiris is the is the new part. I'm gonna go to Mercury. Oh, here we go, guys. We're going to Mercury. I'm gonna go to Mercury first um, and do the old. I haven't done that one yet. There was an old Osiris line. This is the problem, guys, with Destiny. It's not a problem necessarily, but it's kind of confusing because there's a bunch of overlapping quests and storylines and stuff and if you came into the game late it's really hard to piece together what's happening and I have suffered from that I tried to um follow I tried to follow the red war quest line at the start to so that I could maybe experience the content chronologically but the game doesn't really lend itself um to that Wow, guys. This is my favorite um, planet to load into. It's beautiful. Yes, it's hard to know where to pick it up. Yeah, exactly. I just, I gave up now. I'm, I'm just working through it as I can. But um, it's cool that you did that new quest line ish and you liked it. So I will, uh, I'll have to check it out. Are there good rewards? Like, do you get like... A really powerful gun or armor or anything as a reward for doing it. So in the meantime, guys, where I'm looking to go is this guy. I'm going to... I think he's... It, is he... He's up there. Is this portal how I get up there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, guys. Mercury is my favorite planet so far. Um... Just the whole vibe I'm getting from this, uh, from this place is really cool. Do you feel the warmth of Osiris's light, Warlock? I do. I do feel. Oh, you did the old quest line. Oh, so. Osiris has given me his greatest student a message. You mean Mercury Rising? You did. Fight. Have you done? Disturbance on Mercury, the Sundial, Meet Osiris in the Sundial Spire, Ishan. Have you done it? Because if you haven't, we should do it together and we should stream it. I have no idea what rewards are useful or not, so I can't really answer that question. I'm making great season progress, though. Good, I'm not. I'm only level 4 in this season, guys. I haven't played at all this season. Well, I mean, I've got to level 4, so I guess I played a little bit. But I really have not played Destiny this much. I, I want to get into it, though. I want to get, like, current with Destiny, you know? So, Ishan, I think what you're saying is you will have to confirm. Oh, you did the Red War? Okay, you're a little bit further ahead. You haven't done... Okay, Ishan, good. Let's do the Osiris questline together, and we'll do it on stream. Um, we'll have to find a time when to do it, One of them is but that would be really fun. I'm playing solo today, guys, but I do want to team up with people. Um, yeah, so, okay, so you did the other one. Okay, eventually I'll get to that one. See what I mean, guys? It's really confusing. So let's talk to this guy, and then we'll get started, and we'll explore Mercury a little bit so that we're kind of familiar with the environment. And then when it's time to do the Osiris quest line, which is the new one I'm referring to here, the sundial. Yeah, well, let's call it the sundial. Then um, we'll be, like, familiar with the environment. Uh, so let's talk to this guy, see what, what he has to say. What have you done for Osiris today? I'm just having a look at what he says here. All right, I'm just going to read out the final line for you guys. Challenge yourself with adventures, patrols, public events, and a lost sector to earn Brother Vance's adulation. So this is pretty standard. As you play through, um, 
Destiny, it makes you visit all the planets and then you have to do certain things for a person on the planet and then you get rewarded. So yeah, let's do it. I'll have my people contact your people. Yeah, let's let's get together. I'm thinking probably on the weekend is, pro is probably a good time. We'll do it on the weekend. Um, and that could be really fun. Lost Prophecy verse 1. Prophecy tablet. Two siblings cleaved by time and space. Reflections never found alone. The ending of the eldritch race. A path long seen but never known. That's beautiful, guys. I am a beautiful poet. Okay, so now that I have like engaged with him, I can unlock these extra things to do on the planet. So I have a, pl a few um, bounties I got from the tower. I did a little bit of like housekeeping before I started the stream. So I need to use a certain, um, certain weapons for those bounties. But this guy wants me to do things on Mercury specifically. Warp gates disabled in the public event Vex Crossroads. Okay, I can probably do that. Yeah, that's a good point, Nishan. I didn't talk to Zavala. Double or triple up on bounties. Yeah, exactly. Um, I talked to the Weapon Master, but I didn't talk to Zavala. I probably should have, but I'm just going to forge ahead for now. Um, solar ability kills on Mercury. I can switch to solar ability. That's no problem. Not what I would have chosen, Clear but... sections of the infinite forest. You guys, I'm going to take these all and we're just going to learn what they all are. Vex Crossroads. I don't know any of this. This is cool. They're, these are a little bit different than the other planets, I will say. Um, most of the other planets, they just want you to kill a certain enemy type. Um... But these are a little, these are like unique to Mercury. So that's pretty cool. I can't afford any of these things. These are things I can get. Oh, I like that. Once I've kind of increased my reputation with this guy, I can unlock these things. Um, I always like to take a look at the outfits. Ah, I don't love this one. Guys, as a warlock, um, I have a hunter character and I love all of the outfits for the hunter however i prefer playing as a warlock and i don't really like the warlock outfits they have in this game i'm sorry i apologize bungie um but i don't really like the warlock outfits so i'm always like suffering and struggling because i don't like what i look like um in this game but well like he looks cool why can't i look like this guy how do i get his robes you know <laughs> Okay, guys, let me increase my reputation. I don't know how I have Mercury. I don't know how I had any simulation seeds. Most of Zavala's are for strikes and gambit, and but he usually has one or two for the PVE stuff. Okay, that's why I that's why I skipped Zavala, because I just thought I'm only doing planet stuff today. I'm just kind of messing around. Nothing really like high stakes. Oh, cool, guys. He gave me some cool stuff. I got a new helmet. Let me put it on and see what I think, and then we'll get started um, with, I don't know, killing stuff, I guess. Look! Okay, so... I know you're still there, Guardian. Good. So now that I've spoken to this guy, some events have populated here. In fact, there's a public event happening right now. I should probably go take care of... I should go help with that. Science. Let me quickly... Um... Where's my inventory? Here we go. Let me just look at this new hat. I mean helmet. Oh my god. Like look at my character right now. She looks so stupid. Oh my gosh. That's even worse. Okay guys. Try not to look at my character. Alright. Let's get out there and do the public event and see what's going on. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted to do. So... It's over. <laughs> I missed it. Okay. <laughs> That's too bad. Let me go look at these things, though. What is this? Is there a way of using the skin from one equipment on another piece with different stats? So, I don't... That's a good question. I don't... I've... I don't think you can take the look of one gun and put it on another. But there are things called weapon ornaments. 
that will make your skin look different than it is. So if you can find an ornament you really like, you can apply that ornament to your weapon um, to make it look different. So I don't think, but I don't think you can be like, I like this, the way this gun looks, I'm gonna make it look this way. You have to find an ornament you like and then you can put the ornament on your weapon. Could be completely wrong guys. This is just my understanding so far. Um, but that's, that's what I've learned. I haven't done it yet because I haven't found anything that I like enough to change. Wow. Uh oh. I don't know what I'm doing guys. I just got in this thing. I don't know what's going on. Whoops. Let's respawn, guys. So, I don't know what that was all about, but let's go, um, let me check my bounties, I'll pick my weapons, and then we'll go do one of these adventures or something. So, the bounties I have, I need to solar ability. So, I have to change my element to solar. Kinetic weapons, okay. Rocket launcher. Pulse rifles. Okay, so... Solar ability is already equipped. That's great. Pulse rifle and a kinetic weapon already equipped. That's amazing. And did I say rocket launcher or grenade launcher? I think I said rocket launcher. Um, I accidentally just destroyed my high level rocket launcher before the stream started, guys. So I'm using kind of a low level one. Um, but I'm not worried because they give you so many guns here so often oh rocket launcher okay and pulse rifle okay so i think we're all set so i gotta use this is a pulse rifle it's also the kinetic weapon and this is my rocket launcher so i'm gonna use these weapons uh oh <laughs> so let's figure out where to go data recovery quest so I need to adventures, patrols, lost sector, public events. Okay, I see a lost sector on my map down here. And these are adventures and that is, I forget what that symbol means. But let's head down here, we'll do one of these adventures. Prevent the Vex from completing a simulation of fallen combat tactics. Stop a Cabal simulation carrying heavily encrypted data. Or corrupt a Vex data harvesting operation by withstanding an onslaught of Hive. Okay, let's pick the Vex. Um, I picked that pretty much randomly, guys. I... I didn't want to do the last one. An onslaught of hive sounded kind of high. Hey Vito, how's it going? I think I saw you- I think I- I think I saw you doing a live stream a day or two ago. And nice to see you stopping by the channel. Okay guys, let's go over- this place is kind of cool but also kind of scary. Um, there's these patrol- oh! Yeah. Okay, I'm getting shot, but I'm not sure from where. I think it's that guy. This could be a good time for my rocket launcher. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that was- a, that was effective. Oh man, I'm out of ha heavy ammo. Okay. That's right. You have to get certain types of kills in this game to get um, certain ammo types. This is kind of like refreshing my memory about Destiny, guys, while we do it. So let's start this adventure. I have to do one adventure on Mercury. So we'll get it out of the way. I hope I don't die. Alright, let's go have a look. We can do that. What's this circle on my map? What's this white circle? Oh, it's this thing. 
The last time I jumped in one of those, I was instantly attacked and died. So I'm not going to jump in those things in a hurry. What is this? You think we should go in here? <laughs> wow. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to go. I don't really think so, but I'm just, I'm kind of just exploring it right now, guys. I've never been to Mercury um, in Destiny or in real life, obviously. Um, this is weird. So it's interesting that the game is talking a lot about simulations. Prevent. If these readings are correct, the destination gateway is heavily protected. This simulation must be valuable. There's nothing the Vex value more than unique data. Hi, Acehole. How's it going? I did not do the new Osiris quest yet. No, I was actually just talking about it. I think I'm going to do it uh, this weekend. I'm just doing regular kind of Mercury stuff right now. Um, I haven't been to Mercury yet, so I'm just... Oh, there we go. It opened right up. I'm just trying it out. This is like the infinite forest, guys, from the Halloween event. Um, but I am, I think I'm, sorry, Ace, I think I'm going to do the new Osiris, um, the sundial quest line. I think I'm going to do it this weekend. Have you done it? Have you tried it yet? I'm, uh, I'm wondering if it's fun. I th it looks fun. I love new content. You should probably do the old Osiris line before you go in there. It'll make more sense. Oh. Should I? So guys, maybe we should start. Um. I don't know how, how do I do that, Ishan? How do I do the old, um, how do I do the old Osiris quest line? So guys, I'm being told that I should maybe do another quest line before I do this. Am I doing things in the wrong way? This is what I was talking about, how they've just layered on different events. Um, I'm not sure how to do your suggestion, Ishan. The only, the only one I see here is the new, the new one. Um, unless you mean one of these strikes. Let's go back a sec, guys, and just see. Oh. So is that part of the Red War? Not yet, but yeah. Holiday has the crest, the quest from Red War to War Mine. I thought I had did that. I thought I had done the the Red War already, guys. Um. Um, Ishan, are you talking about the sundial, like, or what I'm doing right now? I'm a little bit confused here, guys. I'm not really sure if I'm doing things in the right order or what. Um, I was just doing an advent, a random adventure on Mercury. But you're saying that that's, that's not the right thing to do? Um. It follows the Red War. Okay, guys. Let's have a look here and see. Um. Okay, so I guess maybe today, guys, we won't do Mercury. We'll do Red War instead. Um, I just wanted to do single player stuff today, guys, because I don't have any teammates to play with. Uh, yeah, so I just want to do single player stuff, guys. Um, okay, so you're saying I should do the Red War stuff before I go to Mercury? Is that kind of what you're saying? Alright guys, let's do Red War then. Alright, so we'll go do this. So it says one to three players. I just wanted to do single player stuff today, but I guess we'll see if we get a group. Like, I don't know if it does it randomly or what.
The loading screens are a lot quicker on Stadia than on PlayStation, guys. That's for sure. The storyline will make more sense if you do it in order. I I was just going to do ran just a few random little quests to kind of relearn the game on Mercury. But okay, let's go back um, and do some Red War storyline quests, guys. Let me change up my description here. Hello, Kale. Welcome to the channel. How's it going? Okay, guys. So on advice of chat, we are not going to do Mercury stuff. Um, we are going to do Red War. <laughs> so let's do that instead. Um, I like to do the... I like to do story things with a group, but... Um, all storylines are easy. Yeah, no, no, I know. Um, I just, I like to do the story ones with the group so we can like follow the story together, but we'll do it together uh, on stream. On PlayStation, those loading screens, like the one we just went through, would take so long. You could go, you could like go have a shower and come back. <laughs> so, I thought I just launched into this. So we'll do this. Um, it's possible that this mission, when I finish it, will take me to Mercury. And then I'm not sure what I'll do. If, I'll, if I need to do the Red War story for that or if I can quest after that, we'll see. Okay, so it just brought me back to the same place. Okay, so locate the war mine vault. Alright guys, let's do it. So, travel to the Red Legion's primary drill site. So, I know it's this way. Let's get out our little speeder it's called a v i think they call it a vehicle in, D in destiny but i like to think of it as a little speeder like a little pod racer <laughs> i i always nice i don't like the color on this planet i re i want to go like i'm excited to finish up here and go back to mercury as we all know zavala plans to attack the almighty difficult titan idiocy i'm sure he thought ah gall has a sun destroyer I don't need a plan. I'll simply headbutt it. It's desperation, Asher. Zavala has forgotten he might die his final death. I think we're close, but so are the Taken. Vex, too. Head toward the heart of the energy mining operation, Guardian. We'll use a war mine, part of an interplanetary defense network, to scan the Almighty. I think I gotta kill these guys. Let's rip them up, guys. <clears throat> okay, we'll uh, we'll do that again. Sparrow, are all the vehicles called sparrows, or is just the one that I have the sparrow type? That's my question. I have one more shot, guys. I'm gonna use it as best I can here. Let's shoot this big guy here. Okay, now we gotta switch to the pulse rifle, get all my pulse rifle kills that I need. 
This game is so fun, you guys. I forgot how much fun Destiny is. <laughs> like... Um... It just feels so good to shoot these, like, the game, they really just made combat feel really satisfying. Alright, let me get this ammo. So to get the heavy ammo, I think, guys, I need to do melee kills, I think? I can't remember what my, what my training tells me. Alright, that guy has got a shield. I'm gonna throw a grenade at him because I need ability kills. I'm also gonna check after this and make sure that these are counting towards my pulse rifle kills that I need. Okay, let me just check quickly here on my bounties. Pulse rifle, good, good. I'm making head Y on all of them. I need to use my solar ability. Apparently I cleared a section of the infinite forest already, guys. Good for me. Okay, it feels weirdly deserted. Hi, Cora. We found another drill. This one's big. This is really a big drill. Big. <laughs> Good. That drill pierced an entrance to the war mine vault. The scanner's inside. Gotcha. Let's find the drill controls and get it out of the way. Easy. Where's the drill controls? Oh, crap. What? I thought I killed that guy. Or at least did more damage than that. Got it. And I got some more heavy ammo there, guys. So I'm going to reload my rocket launcher. Try to get some rocket launcher kills. Okay, that takes a really long time to reload. I think I actually use the grenade launcher more. Whoa. He recharged his health? That's pretty cool. I mean, for him, not really for me. <sighs> wow. Guys, I don't use the rocket launcher that much, so I'm kind of glad that bounty got me to do it. Right, here's the controls, We've so that should... Room, but the drill is still in our way. We still need to ah, move the drill. Notoriously irritating commitment to safety standards. <laughs> there has to be a manual override somewhere in that base. Let's go into the vault. How does it launch onto targets, Ishan? I heard it beeping and I thought it sounded like it was trying to get a lock, but it didn't- I just shot it. <laughs> Do you just have to, like, look down the sights at the enemy for a, for a few seconds?
Haha! Oh. -ha! I think I heard it. I think I heard the lock that time. All right, we'll save my last shot in case there's a a boss. Uh oh, what is that? It's one of those portals. Oh gosh, they're scary. They're like making me glitch out in my brain. <laughs> yeah, when you use the sights, I could yeah, I could hear it ticking. Um, there should be a. I feel like it should come up visually and say lock. Okay. Wow, that was easy. I keep thinking that I'm gonna like have a really hard fight, but the the recommended level for these missions is 750, and I'm level like 909 or something. Damn it. Okay, I think it's time for a good, nice one good hit on these guys. That was amazing. They all clumped together perfectly. All right, this one with the shield is gonna take a few shots. I know I could switch to an energy weapon to rip through those shields a bit quicker, guys, but I wanna get... Oh! <laughs> Kinetic calibration complete, good. I still need the pulse rifle one. Uh, let me check. Oh! Pulse rifle done, good. And kinetic weapon done. So I just need... What are these ones? Oh yeah, these are those ones I'll get later, I think. Now that that's done, I'm gonna switch to my favorite, which is this little SMG. I love this weapon. It's the first yellow weapon you get, which is the best like level of rarity. Well, it's the first yellow weapon I got. I guess there are probably lots of things I don't know about this game and other weapons you can get, but... <laughs> And sometimes, if you're fighting an enemy that is the same energy signature as this gun, you don't even have to reload. So I'm hoping that that's the energy signature of these weapons, and then you guys can see that. I'm afraid. The music- ah! The music was telling me that the fight is about to happen. Ah! Okay. See guys, because they're, uh, what is that? Void ener- or arc energy? I don't have to reload my gun! Which is like... Oh. Which is OP. I had to heal up there. I took a lot of damage from... Uh-oh. That guy, maybe? I gotta use my supercharge ability here. Okay. I thought there was a room full of these guys. <laughs> Good thing I used my supercharge ability there, guys. I never would have been able to defeat him without it. <laughs> Let's get this drill out of the way. Good. And I have a queasy feeling. I am eager to discredit plan to attack the Almighty. If you have so guys, good good info from Ace Hole here. If you have arc subclass and throw your pulse grenade on the floor and step on it, the perk for that gun will activate. Awesome. And the perk for that is um we'll look it up here, guys, since we're talking about it. Um Taking arc damage increases weapon power and arc resistance. So... Do you take damage from your own grenade? Or just stepping on the grenade's electricity is enough to give you that perk? I guess that's my question. That is handy. That is a handy tip. <sighs> Guys, I don't want to go down into this place 
but I think it's telling me I need to, right? I kind of got turned around. Yeah, it's telling me to go down there. Eh! <laughs> Did I just jump into a garbage pit? That's what I feel like. Man, I supercharge ability would have been really useful. When you kill some Vex, they leave behind a little well of energy. Okay, so... Yes and yes. Alright, good. Guys, thank you. Let's keep going. Ah! Alright, let's try this. Oh, right. Oh yeah, I need solar kills, so I can't switch right now. Because I still need solar kills. Um. But I will I will try that out when I am done with my solar uh, ability kills. <gasps> Ooh, they really got me there. Hoping that grenade did a little bit more damage than what it did. Oh, 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 oh. Taking too much damage from this. So these guys, you need to shoot when they're. You need to shoot them when the shield allows a little opening. So I'm gonna try to get an angle on him. There we go. Ha! I see my ghost has a message for me, I think. I think it's telling me to go this way. So, what's a war mine, exactly? Good question. It's a kind of artificial intelligence designed to defend humanity against the unknown. Whoa, the drill's on. What? Lift it up before Did it passes the war mine vault. I thought we were turning it off. Alright, let's go guys. I see where we gotta go over there. Let's just float on over there. Oof. That's a heavy landing. Hey guys! You don't mind if I kill you and turn your drill off, do you? Yeah! There's one. <clears throat> That's not good. Okay, now that I have my supercharged ability, I'm going to try not to waste it on a single enemy. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's turn it off quick. Finally. Let's get down to the vault. I don't want to go down there, guys. I don't want to go down where the drill was. I will be honest. I don't want to do it. Okay, am I supposed to... I think these guys are kind of fighting themselves, you know? I think I'm just gonna make a run for it here. Na -na -na -na. Guys, I thought I had to go down there into the vault. <laughs> That's not the way. Oh, it's the... Oh, okay. I was close. It's just this little... Okay. You just have to be a little bit careful. A little bit more careful there, guys. There. This will be rich. I will ask Zavala. Can you tell me in Zedijul the Almighty's expected destructive capacity? 
And he will say, no, Asher, I cannot, because I am a reckless fool. Ignore Asher. Find the war mine. Reconnect right. it to the network, and we'll handle the okay. rest. Okay. Alright, I need to get a little bit closer for this gun to be the most effective. There we go. The SMG has a little bit lower... Throw a grenade on you guys. A little bit of a lower... Range. Or, er, shorter range. Okay. Aha! Oh, okay. Well, that was a little bit of a better usage. Um... Are you laughing at me because I jumped into the hole? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> ah! Okay, guys. I'm gonna throw a grenade up there. If I have one. No, I don't. Wow, the the light in here is crazy. Okay, we gotta go this way. Okay. Same thing happened to you? Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It the the whole time that it really seems like you're just supposed to jump in there. Oh wow. This must be it, huh? This must be it. Wow. All right. Let's activate the mainframe, guys. Reconnecting to the war mine network to I just feel state. like it's going to start a big fight. <laughs> yes. We can see the connection coming online. All right, it's coming online. Hang on. Restricted you zone. That's always bad. I'm going to get out of here, guys. I don't want to be in the pit when they come. Here they all are. <laughs> Oh, God, what is that? It's immune. All right, guys. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill it or escape or what. Um, am I supposed to kill it? I think so. All right, let's get in a little closer. I think it's like giving it power. Ah, it's my special kill. Am I weakening it now? Ah, I can do damage to it right now. Let's try to mix it up a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay guys, I don't wanna die here, cause... Cause I don't have anyone to bring me back. We're good, guys. That big thing is almost dead. He's immune right now. I gotta take out his little... I think I have to take out his little helpers. Specifically those ones. The big ones. God, I thought I killed you. Okay. Alright, I gotta take out the guy he's connected to. I almost got him with that rocket kill a minute ago, huh? Ooh, wow. All right, I killed his handler. Now I'm gonna kill him. <gasps> oh, I almost died, guys. I almost died right there. <laughs> 
Look at all this stuff. What is it? What are the radiant seeds? Wow. Whew. I did it, guys. I know you guys said these fights are easy, and that wasn't hard, but I'm still happy that I did it. <laughs> oh, I thought I leveled up in the season rank. There you go, guys. If you guys are having a fun, having a good time watching the stream, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let other people know you like the content. Tell the YouTube algorithm that you're having fun. Okay, let's listen to this. What is the price of such power and immortality? Devotion. Oh, this guy. Self-sacrifice. Death. Death. Explain. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death. Hey Pelican, how's it going? So, feel free to kill yourself. I'm playing Destiny today. Devotion. Sacrifice. Um, I was born an outcast. A runt. I don't as is custom with the cabal. Maybe I, I am Ace. For dead. I was taken in by an old scholar himself, okay. priest, who saw in me something. Who's the Black Armory, redeemable. like, contact? Is it a robot? Me, taught me, trained me, and in return, I would become a vehicle for his revenge against an empire that failed him, that failed itself. Rejection, ridicule, torment. It made me stronger. I gave everything to win, not just acceptance, but glory. Beneath my mask, This poor guy's been suffering the whole game. Is a face of devotion <clears throat> and sacrifice. I will not this take guy. the light by force. To do so would be to admit failure. He never fails. Now, do you see what I will be chosen? Okay, I Ace, yeah. Now. I am... I think I'm working towards getting a machine gun or something. I see all the new with time. the Black Armory. On the it's worth it, Pelican. It's a lot of fun. One it is... It's hard to figure out. It's overwhelming. But if you can get into it, the actual gameplay is so, so fun. So rewarding. Dominus. Everything we've worked for is here, for the taking. All that remains is your work. No, this is not the way, old friend. But it is the way. The only way. Not for me. He's got his own plans. I just heard water. So really what is this saying is the farm? We're damned if we do, damned if we don't. On the contrary. Now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. <laughs> yeah, right? Space rhinos. That's good. That's yeah. Indeed. That's a good way we to describe them. To be done. The traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming back. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know, the city wall is oh, this like girl. This bar. Plenty of places. She's. I like her. Unseen, so long as you know how. 
I identify with her character. You sure you're not one of my hunters? Huh. Not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You I am. To get I'm into capes into the city and hoods. Raising any alarms. My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. I'm sh I'm pretty good at shooting bad guys. Put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a a guardian. You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor. Guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thingy. <laughs> if we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain guardian on board. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly right through a Cabal armada. If it's a Cabal ship you need, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Well, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. I would hug you, Cade. <laughs> All right, so we got to steal a ship and then sneak in to wherever they said. <laughs> this, okay, guys, I love this place, the farm. I like the farm way better than the tower. I wish the farm was like the place instead of the tower. Because it's so nice. Like, it's just, it's so lovely. It's outdoorsy, I guess. And there's a little fire over there. See the fire, little fireplace. And you can watch the ships come in and out of the people joining. And there's my ship. This is my ship. Oh, there it goes, you guys. It dropped me off. See, there it goes. I, <laughs> I just got, I just reskinned it to that purple color. Um, yeah, look at this little fireplace over here, and then there's like a field where you can play soccer, um, this way. It's just lovely. I just think it's the best. And the music. Okay, so let's go upstairs and talk to our friend. So guys, I'm gonna do the Red War questline until we get to Mercury. And then once I'm on Mercury, I'll do more Mercury things. You got a new gaming chair yesterday. Awesome. Cool Pelican. Is it like, is it like a gaming chair? Like, is it just a new chair that you're going to use for gaming? Or is it like a chair designed for gaming? Let me know. Remember All right, let's Cabal talk to, I can't remember her name. One of Gaul's buddies. Rugged, Soraya. Bloodguard by the name of Thumos. We know he's got access to the Almighty. So you crash the base, steal Thumos's ship, use it to sneak aboard the Almighty, and shut it down before it can blow up our sun. Oh my gosh. Do me a favor. Put Thumos down while you're at it. All right. When you give the signal, we move on the city. Take it back. Gotta say, I really didn't think you'd come back from your interplanetary jaunt, much less with a vanguard by your side. Look at us. Red Legion doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> okay. Again, guys, I'll just read you the last line here. I don't want to read out all of these words. To summarize, bring the fight back to the Red Legion by completing mission payback on the EDZ. Oh. And now she has stuff for me to do. Raids. I'm not doing any raids right now. Um, you need a group. You need a lot of teamwork. You need to know what you're doing. So I haven't actually gotten into any raids yet. Um, uh, so we will circle back to this at, s at some point. But in the meantime, let's check out where the new Red War mission is. And we're going to keep doing Red War till we get to Mercury. And then I'm going to do that Mercury stuff that I started with. So guys, the Red War symbol is on Earth now. And it's right here. 
So let's go do it. Um, right? Yeah, I didn't have any more bounties or anything. But because it's on Earth, I'm gonna get some Earth bounties. Finally attack the Red, Le the Red Legion base in the EDZ head-on. Since we're in the EDZ, I'm gonna go talk to the, the bounty guy here and get some bounties because if I can if I'm gonna be shooting on in the EDZ uh, uh, and killing I might as well be getting bounties at the same time so we'll get some bounties from him and then we'll, we'll go do this next red war step which at some point will lead us to mercury I'm pretty sure according to my instincts and according to my chat <laughs> all right so this guy's inside the church his name is I can't remember his name. He kind of looks like George Clooney. That's that's how I think of him. And so because of that, I forgot his actual name. I am on Earth now. I am now on Earth, yes. This is the European dead zone. Devrum K, guys, AKA George Clooney. <laughs> Looking for something. I'm gonna do a little Earth fighting now. Cash in my reputation with him. Maybe I'll unlock an Engram. I did, good. Grenade kills. Precision kills. Defeat Cabal. Okay, I think that's who we're fighting. Pretty sure we're fighting the Cabal here. Precision kills, I can do grenade kills. I don't know if I can get 20. Um, do be careful with that. But I'll try, because worst, worst comes to worst, I just don't do it. And that's that's literally all. That means nothing. So now let's load into um, the Red War Zone area. Let's launch over there. He reminds you of Captain Price from Modern Warfare. I'm not familiar with Captain Price from Modern Warfare. I've seen a little bit of gameplay of Modern Warfare, but I haven't. I don't know really any of the characters. A new mission. Guardian. Get to the shipyards in the Red Legion base. So I'm sending in holiday something special. Okay, guys. Whoa, whoa. How special are we talking here? Just keep moving. Storm the facility and board that cabal carrier. No matter the cost, we must get to the Almighty. Gotta do it. No matter what, we gotta do it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go top up my coffee real quick to give me a little energy burst for this next section. I will be right back in two or three minutes, and then we will move on to the next segment, okay? I will see you in a second.
I'm back. <laughs> I hope you guys are happy to see me and weren't just like enjoying that song too much. <sighs> okay, and you all waited for me. Awesome. Okay, guys. Sometimes when I run and take my little break, everybody leaves. So I'm happy to see that you're all still here. <laughs> told our guardian friend here, and I quote, I need Cade. Did you <sighs> speed this up a little? Cry. <clears throat> Holiday, what's your status? Let the record show. No denial. Hey, if they don't Anna, see me. This girl's heavy. Ha ha! Um... Guys, I forget what my bounties were that I just picked up. Kill Cabal. Precision. I'm going to double check. <laughs> Pre kill Cabal, I know, is one. Precision oh. kills is one. Oh. I got the rocket launcher one done. Good. Cabal kills. Precision kills. And grenade kills. Okay, guys, let me switch to a grenade launcher. Because I think that will still count as grenade kills. Maybe chat will correct me if I'm wrong. It may have to be, like, the, my ability, like, my solar grenades. A new chair you're going to use for gaming that's really comfortable. Pelican, that's awesome. I just have, like, a cheap chair that was um, maybe, like, $60 from Walmart. But I like some of the... Ah! Some of the gaming chairs they have are so cool. And they look they look like... You know, they look like racing chairs, but they're for gaming. I'd love to get one branded. What? Guys, is this for us? <laughs> wow! Okay, okay, who remembers Halo? This is Halo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's two different types. Okay, guys, we're gonna whip it out. I mean, we're gonna rip it up. You can track your bounties, three only. Yes, guys, let's track our bounties. That's just gonna happen. Precision, let's track, and grenade, let's track. The other ones are for Mercury. <gasps> um, yeah, it would be cool to get a gaming chair, guys. I, it would be cool to get one that's like branded with one of my like favorite streamers. I don't actually know if any of my streamers that I like have branded chairs, but um, that's cool, Pelican. I hope that I hope you like it. What are you gonna game first? What are you going to play first with your new chair? Oh wow, this guy's tricky. I'm going to shoot right there. There we go. And these guys, you're dead. So I tracked those bounties. Aren't they supposed to show up on my screen? Okay guys, we're doing great here. Time to just keep on destroying it. Uh-oh, you guys are hitting me a little heavy. There we go. <laughs> ha! <laughs> this is awesome. I would love one. I want one at all I'll times. And they get as many as um, they let's get a new one, guys, because that one's health was a little bit low. So we'll just freshen up a little. Ha! Ah! Hey, Gabriel. You're bad at Destiny. Hey, um, that's okay. Uh, sometimes I'm awesome and sometimes I'm really bad. <laughs> and overall, I think the game is pretty easy. Like, it's forgiving. Like, even if you die a lot, there aren't a lot of, like, bad... Nothing bad really happens. You can always just restart or try again. Um, 
the game lends itself to exploration as well, which I really like. <sighs> um, <laughs> but don't feel bad if you're bad. You'll get better, or you won't, and you'll still have fun. So, if any if anyone here is new, if you guys haven't hung out by the channel before. Um, make sure you guys sub because I don't have a set streaming schedule yet, but I do try to stream most days uh, And our community has been growing steadily. So it's nice to see uh, all you people here today Okay, this little guy needs to die. There we go. What is he shielded that one thing took like three hits to die? Let's keep going So my tank is at about half health anytime. There's a place to get a new one. I'm just gonna do it. That thing. Those are ones I need to keep an eye on. Um, let's summon a new one. Oops. You've been playing since Destiny 1 and you're still bad. <laughs> you play because it's fun. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to be really good at this game to have a fun a fun time. Some games you are that way, like if you're not good, then you don't really, it's like, it's not fun to play. Um, I actually find that a little bit with Fortnite Battle Royale. I know I stream a ton of Fortnite, but I'm not good at the Battle Royale portion and I don't find it extremely fun to die constantly. But Destiny, it's like, even if you're bad, you're still gonna have so much fun playing it. Uh, Pelican, that- something similar happened to me as well. Um, just yesterday, I'm trying to think what I did to fix it. I couldn't get it linked. Um... Try holding down the- the Stadia button. Try holding it down for like 30 seconds and see if you can get it to start flashing white. Oh, I missed what he said there, but let's keep going. I think we're done with the tanks. Maybe. Surprise! You'll probably play Farming Simulator. It was raining and then you went to sleep and you woke up and it was real rain. That's cool. Um, it would be cool if Farming Simulator actually like reflected the weather of where you were. What's a game that did that, guys? Ishan, do you remember a game that it would ref like the, the weather in the game would reflect where you actually were? You could put like your location and then the game would track your weather so it would match. <clears throat> Um, that would be kind of cool. I should do another farming simulator. It worked good, Pelican. There we go. Come to me for all your Stadia questions, guys. Yeah, the same thing happened to me, and I just had to hold down the button for a really long time, and then I got it working again. In general, I find it works really well, but yeah, sometimes it has a little bit of trouble connecting. There we go, guys. Uh, yeah, I should do another farming simulator sometime if I feel really t like kind of tired and not like doing anything really action-packed I might just do like a chill farming simulator stream Heads up. That carrier spinning up its engines. Might want to pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Is on that Give me a tank <laughs> Which way do we go guys? Ah. All right, I'm gonna head the way where the tanks are, <laughs> and then we'll take it through. It's cool because it goes, it doesn't really have a front or back. Do you know what I mean? This tank, it can, it can go, it's multi-directional. Like the, the, the gun always points the way you're going, but the bottom parts like move around. Gosh, guys, I'm not making any sense. Um, where did I get the better gun? Um, f from the main quest line. So if you follow the main quest line at some point, it gives you a quest to like, oh my gosh. 
<clears throat> of course the Red Legion have tanks too. Of course. It's alright, my tank's better. Your tank sucks! Uh oh, not this one. This is a hard one, these guys. I'm taking a lot of damage and so is my tank. The better- yeah, that gun, the submachine gun that, that's yellow, that's the best gun I have. Excuse me, guys. They've retracted the bridge. We're not going to be able to cross that gap. Oh, your super tank can't fly? There's probably a way to extend the bridge. Let's find the control room. Thank you guys. Thank you for letting me know about the sound. Sorry about that. I had to cough a minute ago and I muted myself and I was ranting on and on about all kinds of things um, that weren't important. So I'm not going to repeat myself, but you guys didn't miss anything. I was just looking at my exotic weapons because someone asked, but I'm glad you guys told me no sound because I was about to start telling you how much I love Stadia because um, Pelican was asking what I think of Stadia. Stadia is my favorite thing ever. <clears throat> That's a bit dramatic, but I um, I totally am on board with Stadia. I, hey, Adam. Should be sound now, guys. Um, it just works. It, it looks great. That it feels great. Um, I play it mostly with the controller and the Chromecast, but I also do play on my laptop, which is like... A laptop I've had for not quite 10 years maybe seven years so it's old um, and I play all these games on it no problem 
Um, I love all the free games. I'm a pro subscriber, which you have to be to play Stadia right now. And um, I love all all the games, except Samurai Showdown. There's only one game that I have from Stadia I don't really like, and that's Samurai Showdown. I gotta get out of this thing! Wah! Okay, guys, I gotta go back and get a new tank here. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna... There's only a few left. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna wait and get a new tank when I get over there. <clears throat> Immune? Do you have to kill these guys with the tank? I'm just gonna run over there. I'm just gonna do it. I see there's a tank around the corner, so... If I die, I will regret this. Look at them all, they're gonna kill me, oh my god! <laughs> oh, your tank can't fly? Yeah, and now I wish my tank could fly. <sighs> can you play on a smart TV? You can play on it. um... Any TV that has an HDMI input for a Chromecast Ultra, you can play on. So... A smart TV, I don't think it has, like, Stadia built into it. But if you can plug a Chromecast into it, then you can play on it. And the way I have it set up right now is my Chromecast is actually plugged directly into... ...my computer. Not really. Um, it's plugged into a splitter and one split goes into the computer so you guys can see it and the other comes to my monitor so I can play in high definition. So, um, yeah, you can play on your laptop. You can play on your phone even. If you plug the controller into your phone, you can play on your phone. Um, it's on Pixel tablets right now. They're going to be expanding it to more tablets, which I'm excited for. I don't have a, a Google tablet, but I have a, an iPad. So I am really looking forward to when I can be ripping it up on my iPad, but I can't quite yet. But I, I have played a couple times on my phone, um, but I don't really need to because usually I'm home when I'm gaming. But for people who are out and traveling a lot, all you need is your phone and um, then you can play that way. And the controller, I guess you'd need to, but yeah. <clears throat> Stadia is amazing. It's definitely the way of the future. Uh, streaming games. Okay, guys, we're getting a little bit, uh, we're getting a little bit, tr it's, it's heating up. Okay, I'm gonna focus for a second. Okay. Get away! I'm kind of retreating. I think I pushed forward a little bit too quick there. Okay. Oh no! I gotta get out of this thing! Ah! Okay, guys. My tank is dead, but I need to kill this thing! Okay, I don't think a grenade launcher is the best choice here. <sighs> Is it taking any damage? It is, but very slowly. Okay. Okay, we need another tank. Guys, I gotta run like a little baby. Uh, I gotta go grab another tank, guys. I, I think it's certainly possible to do that without having to go back for a tank, but not in this- ah! Not in this instance. <laughs> we'll grab another one and then we'll come back and we'll kill these guys. <sighs> uh, another good thing about Stadia, just since I'm ranting, is there's no update times. You don't have to download any patches. Um, you don't have to upgrade any hardware. Like, you... You know, you don't need to buy, like, the PlayStation 4 and then 5 and then 6. Um, it's a streaming service, so Stadia, Google, takes care of all the hardware, and you just get to game. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Okay, guys, I have unlimited tanks, so you're obviously going to die.
Okay, someone's shooting me from this side. We gotta... Oh, it was these guys. Okay. Where'd you go? Ha ha! You too. Your friend. Next. Grenade launcher will kill it fast. Oh, okay. And your super as well can tank that tank. Okay, good to know, guys. I guess I should have tried something other than just my little, uh, my little auto rifle to shoot it, but I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> We're almost out of the tunnels. Coming up on the carrier. Good. The only thing standing between you and the Almighty is through mostly unbroken. He's a blood god, one of Gaul's chosen. The Red Legion won't die for him. Sounds Why tricky. Don't you help them on that? Okay, we'll get a fresh tank up here, and then we're gonna destroy this guy. <clears throat> and I'm supercharged. I often um, forget to use my supercharge ability. Especially when I do Crucible, which is like the PvP side of Destiny. Disable. Alright, I, I assume this is. <clears throat> wow, having a one shot kill is so satisfying. Okay, so disable the shield. I think I gotta jump in there, maybe. <clears throat> Oof. Or do I shoot it? Let me look at this thing. Disable the shield. Do I go in it? Shield generators. Do I kill it with this? <clears throat> there we go. Shoot it until it's dead. Oh, good question, Pelican. I will put that in chat for you. If you do exclamation point stadia, my Megabot will tell you. There's my stadia names. You can add me. It's Meg X. Megatron was taken. So I just shortened it. Okay, let's go over that way. Now that I know how to destroy the shield generators, I'll take them out. <clears throat> <laughs> Clear away these guys. Oh wow, what just shot me in the back? One of these guys. Okay. All right, I see a full health tank thing right there. But you know what? I don't even think I need it. I think I can just take it out like this. Shields down, but the ship's about to uh -oh. launch without us. Uh -oh. Keep that carrier on the ground. A couple missiles up a tail pipe ought to do the job. I assume Is that not a tailpipe? It's up here. Okay. <clears throat> okay guys, I'm gonna grab a fresh tank. from over here <clears throat> and then we will go and put a couple grenades in its tailpipe and I assume then we get to see a nice big explosion ha! 
Okay. Uh oh, big guy up here. What is this? Time to die, buddy. <clears throat> Alright, I see that. Oh no! I did it before I died. <clears throat> Yay! So next we get to kill um, Thumos, who they've been talking about in this mission. And I'm assuming now we get to see a little cutscene, guys. So let's check out the cutscene. So there's a link there um, that you can check out some more information about how to buy Stadia. I'll give you a little like rundown. <clears throat> there's a couple options. So if you buy the uh, Premier found or the Stadia Premier Edition, which is what you'll see in that link I put, um, then you can basically you'll get a controller and you'll get a Chromecast Ultra, uh, and then you can play the games that you want that way. Very soon, I suspect in February, they said at some point in 2020, but I think it's going to be in February, you won't have to buy anything except the game you want to play. So it will be Stadia Base, and then you don't need a subscription. You can just buy whatever game you want to play and then play it. Um, I like to have a subscription because it does have some extra perks that you can read about on the website there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different ways to play. So for right now, you do have to buy the Chromecast Ultra and the controller to play. But like I said, I think in February or at some point in 2020, it's going to go completely free. And then you won't have to buy any hardware. <clears throat> okay, guys. Let's do the next one. I think we're getting closer and closer to making it to Mercury. I thought it was just like one red war mission I had to do to get back to Mercury but I don't know if we're gonna get there today actually because these missions are taking a while so let's go back to the EDZ and do this next mission that link should be a hyperlink I'm just looking at it in my chat and I'm wondering why that's not a hyperlink or maybe it is. Maybe that is a hyperlink. I'm not sure, guys. I won't worry about it for right now. <clears throat> Here we go. We're in the carrier. That's weird. Good. Okay, but we're in the carrier, guys. So now I, we'll just continue the story. Hey, Pelican! I will accept that um after the stream. Well, actually, let me see if I press. I tell you to be careful, but that didn't help the last team. Yeah. Except there we go. I'll do it right now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. Is this a tank? Oh, it's the evil tank that I suspect I'm going to have to destroy it later. Now, if this were Tomb Raider, we would hear them having a conversation. Oh! Okay, guys, I wish that I could have gotten in that tank um, and blown these guys up with it. Oh, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. Ha! I think I need these those kills uh, as a bounty or something. Okay, I gotta take out the dogs first because they can, they can overwhelm you like as a pack. Okay. 
<clears throat> okay. All right, we got to take care of that guy up there because he's really harming me. Okay, guys. Seriously? That was a lot of dogs. Yeah, Ace, go check it out. I definitely recommend, like, I recommend you buy it and you sign up for Pro. <laughs> but if you want to save money, you can wait for Stadia Base. Um, but I highly recommend it. I love the controller. I love the freedom. Um, I love streaming Stadia. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And thanks. I hope you have a good day, too. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for the advice. You definitely... I learned uh, I learned quite a bit from you. So thanks for stopping by. The spike dogs. Yeah, they are. They are the mutant spike dogs. Let's find a console um, to pick up the schematics. If I, if I could, I, would, I wouldn't kill any animals in any games. Um, I'm a dog lover. You guys may have seen Moby on stream. My dog Moby. <laughs> But these mutant dogs are kind of a little bit easier to kill because they're really vicious. <clears throat> Storm the command deck, it says. Up. Let's go up. See you later, Ace. We do this all the time. Do I just climb up there? Oh, I guess so. Okay. I was looking for a button. I was looking for a button to take me up there, but I guess you just climb up. Team I lost to Thumos. They were good people. Some of my best. Our guardian can handle Tarthorn. It's what we do. It's what you did. Last I checked, without the light, you and me, not so different. All I hear are alarms. <laughs> Okay, guys. <clears throat> you have a min. Ah, that's cute. I Moby's a lab. He's a Labrador. He um. I sometimes show him on the stream, but he's upstairs right now, so I can't. But yeah, I'm a. I'm a big. I'm a. I'm a big dog person. Um. As I can now watch me kill all these dogs. <laughs> Ah, I'm a real life dog person, guys. Um, oh, the door's sealed. Oh. Look around. There's always another way in. There's got to be another way in. What's this? That looks like a good way. Ha ha! I'll go through the air ducts. That's a common game myself. trope, huh? My team. Your time will come along. Is to sneak in through the air ducts. I think it's the other way, actually. Yeah. This looks like doors, doesn't it? Oh. Well, take it back. I guess it's this way. I the sounds that I can hear coming down from down there are scary, but I'm gonna have to keep going. Ah! Dead. Okay. 
This rifle has better range to take out those sniper guys. In fact, they're all a little bit far away. I'm being a little bit careful. I tend to just rush into these situations and then get shot in the back. I think we can move forward a little bit now. Ooh, okay. Oh wow, I killed two with one shot? That was amazing. Alright, time to supercharge. You dead. <laughs> I think that was it. Maybe I should have used that at the start and at the end, but hey. Tangled web gloves, okay. And do I need any more? Yeah, if I reload, I can pick up that extra heavy ammo. All right, let's keep going. We're almost to the hangar. Yes, guys, I did see uh, Pelican. I saw that Doom Eternal is coming out on Stadia, guys. They've, um, I think they announced the release date. Um, we've known Doom was going to come to Stadia for a while. But yeah, it's actually coming out. Do I think it will be good? Yes, I think it will be really good. Um, I'm probably not going to play it, full disclosure. If you guys are hoping to see Doom on my channel, probably not. Uh, it's a little bit too gory for me. Doom is very graphic. There's lots of blood and creepy, mo like, creepy monsters that you have to kill that are really gory. Um, and I'm not into that type of game as much. But the game itself does look good. And if you like the Doom franchise or like the Quake games, uh, then you, yeah, these, this, this game does look like it's going to be really good. Doom Eternal. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, but I, it's not really my genre, so I probably won't stream it or buy it. Um, but it does look good and it looks good on Stadia. They, they wrote the that game they've developed that game with stadia in mind it's actually one of the early games um to be developed like with stadia in mind so the code for it is supposed to be is supposed to work really well with stadia and it's supposed to look and play amazing okay get that guy ha huh? <laughs> okay we'll kill these randoms What is this? Open hangar door. I think I'm ready. I don't think there's anything I need to like loot. Ah! Someone order backup? <laughs> you better run. Oh, he's too far. Okay, guys, we. Is there a tank or something? Because this is a lot. Throw a grenade out there. Wow, that grenade was actually really effective. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving closer so I can use my SMG. Borderlands 3, I like the look of Borderlands 3. Um, I believe Borderlands 3 was developed by Bethesda, which is one of my favorite game developers. In fact, I would say they're my favorite game developer, um, simply because of the Elder Scrolls games. 
Borderlands 3 is a game I may check out at some point. Um, I think it was on sale in the Stadia store. I didn't jump for it because I still have a bunch of games I want to play and stream. But Borderlands 3 looks like a lot of fun. Um, it's a The world is a little bit gritty for me. Like, I think gritty is the word right, I'm looking Guardian. for. I've done my part. Now go take care of Thumos for us. I'll kill him. Don't even worry about it. Um, the worlds that are like really gritty, I can sometimes find a little bit depressing to play for long periods of time. And bo I, I'm worried that Borderlands has that aspect to it. But the gameplay for Borderlands and like the characters and stuff is wild. Um, and it is it is a possibility. I will check it out. Like if they if it goes on sale again when I need a game to play or. For certain, if it became a Stadia Pro game that we got for free, I would definitely play it then. Um, another game I recommend on Stadia that's available is the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, I've been playing that a little bit. I did a little bit of it on stream, and, but I've been playing off stream as well just to relax. Uh, and it's really fun. It's a beautiful um, area. You, pl you play in Greece. Uh, during um, during ancient times when Athens and Sparta were fighting and so you're kind of you become up a part of the war uh, and it's it's really fun the gameplay is fun there's a lot of sneaking you get a horse and it's a beautiful world to explore and that's really important to me um, that the world that you're exploring and spending your time in is is really beautiful and um, engaging, I guess, and feels really alive. And in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it has all of those things. The game is huge. The places you go are variable. It's just a lot of fun. And you guys, I killed Thumos like a pro, and I wasn't even talking about this game. I was talking about another game, and I ripped it up, so I just think that was amazing. <laughs> I just focused. <laughs> April 20th is Doom Eternal for Stadia. Okay, so yeah, it's coming out in April. Now, um, Sandro, oh, hey, hey, Sandro, that, that's you talking there. Oh, you ret retracted it. Is that not correct? Um, it's, yeah, I think that it's coming out in April, and I think it's releasing on Stadia at the same time that it's releasing elsewhere, but I could be wrong about that, guys. I haven't been following Doom as much. Whew! The characters had you intrigued on Borderlands. Okay, that's good to know. So the, the Borderlands characters are, are engaging. That's good to know. Alright, guys, this is all just Red War stuff. Um, I don't think we're going to make it to Mercury today, <laughs> which was my original plan, but I will stream, uh, I'll do a different stream and we'll get through, um, we'll get, we'll get to Mercury at some point here, guys. So the next qu campaign we're going to do is Larceny. So break into the Red Legion base and steal the personal shuttle of Thumos, the no longer unbroken. Yes, he is definitely no longer unbroken because I killed him. <laughs> So let's go. Another game once it's released on Stadia that I will be streaming is Elder Scrolls Online. It's um, an N MMORPG. And um, it's been out for a while. It's not a new game, but it will be newly released on Stadia when it's finally announced. I'm hoping it comes in February. Um, has a ship in that and it's place. definitely a game it's I'm going to play on stream. You onto the Almighty and so you're but I'll talk more about that when it comes, when it's released. I was going to ask you if you had it, Pelican, or if you were just, just thinking about it. <laughs> When it nope. when it nope. first came nope. out, not on Stadia, but when it was just released in general, I, a bunch of streamers played Borderlands 3, so I saw a little bit of it that way, and that's kind of how I'm making my my assumptions there. 
Surprise, you guys. You didn't know I was here, did ya? I need more super... I need more solar kills. Solar ability kills. Whew. Easy. There's only one ship left on the landing pads. That must be Thuma's ship. Get to it before I see it over there. Okay. <clears throat> I see the ship over there. It's that one. Uh let's get to it, guys. Oh! Ah! Sentry guns! AKA uh, Scorpions. On March 20th, 2020, will Doom Eternal for Stadia. Okay. I see you did some fact checking and then came back. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Looks like Doom will be coming out in March. Um. It's, it's too, I'll say gory for me. Um, but I think it will be a lot of, it's gonna be really popular. A lot of people are gonna wanna play it. Oof, these little guys are, they're like little insects. They don't do much damage, but they're hard to kill. You pick the Titan on Destiny 2? Do you like the Titan? I have only played as Warlock, which is my favorite, and Hunter, which is my second favorite. Um, but I hear that the Titan is very strong as well. Okay. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, these are- I take it back, these guys are like actual little insects. <laughs> and I'm supercharged, awesome. Okay, see the lightning effect on the edges of the screen? That means that I'm um, using the perk of my gun, which allows me to do more damage. But I also find it very distracting to have that those flashes on the edge of my vision. All right, guys, let's get to this ship. Oh. Maybe it's this way? It's this, this way. It's this way, guys, I was just kidding. <laughs> My melee punch is very strong. And I don't mean me like my personally. I mean the solar ability punch is very strong. Okay, I'm getting nailed. I gotta get I gotta find out what's hurting me so much. What is that? It's a scorpion thing. Luckily they don't take uh, much damage to kill. You've just begun the game. You got my. Sh you got your ship. You're not sure what to do yet. Um, follow the Red War questline, Pelican. Um, let me see if I can show you where I mean. Because it is really overwhelming at the start. Let me look here quickly. If you go to the tower, on the right hand side here, there's this girl called Amanda Holiday. And if you add a waypoint to her, the game will like help guide you to her. 
speak to her and she has something called the red war campaign that's what i'm doing right now and i highly recommend it it'll take you through the storyline of the base game and it will help make everything else later in the game make more sense that's my recommendation i didn't invent that idea i got that idea off reddit because when i first started playing this game i didn't know what i was doing either so I went on Reddit and looked up like what do people recommend you do when you first start playing this game because it's so overwhelming and they everybody says go do the start with the Red War. <laughs> and I think the game should force you to do that from the start but they wanted to have it really open I think world open choice. Um, oof. Ooh, okay. Which is fine, but as a new player, it's really confusing what you're supposed to do. And I've been playing this game for weeks now, um, and I'm still really confused over what to do. So I want to tell you it gets better as you play, but it stays confusing for a while. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> ah! Hopefully that grenade just kills them all, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're pretty close to the ship. I think we're right at the doors. I need to get a little bit of cover here. Man, those sentry guns are stupid. <sighs> All right, so the ship I'm going for, I think, is this way, yeah. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. guys. Okay, guys. I get it. You're shooting me. The way is clear. The way is clear. Yeah. This is the part where you borrow it. Let's borrow his ship, guys. We killed him and we stole his ship. I mean, what could go wrong? New objective. Use the stolen key codes. Okay. Oh, he has a little, a little lock. Cover me. I need to figure out how this works. Hmm. Protect that ship. Okay, I guess it's not going to be that easy. <clears throat> Defend, protect the ship at all costs. Okay, guys, where's my tank when I need it? I'm gonna get all my weapons reloaded, ready for this big fight. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, he got me with a grenade. <laughs> oh, they're coming from this side, too. All right, let me go over here. I'm gonna supercharge. I think I need supercharge kills. I wonder if that did it. I don't hear dying. Still in one piece. Unlike someone I know. I don't hear dying. <laughs> hey, that teleporter was all vexy and stuff. Okay, now they're just dropping right onto the platform. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I don't know what that is. Is that like a nuke? Oh, what is this guy? Okay, guys, I gotta get on the ship. Whew. Hey, Addy, how's it going? Nice to see you. I'm not doing Fortnite today. I'm actually streaming Destiny on Stadia, but nice to see you. I'm gonna do a Fortnite stream tonight if you're interested. There's a big update, and so we're gonna check it out tonight. Time for Gaul's last day. Good. So we stole a ship. We killed the boss, and then we took his ship. <laughs> awesome. So let's see what's next. They didn't really say what's going to happen next, but I assume we're taking the ship somewhere. So this says 1AU. I don't know if you're supposed to say those. You're able to update right now. Yeah, I did the update this morning. Um, but the quest line I want to do, it's in Save the World. And it's called Misfit Toys or Toy Misfit or something. And it re it releases tonight at reset time. So tonight at when the when reset happens and the, the actual quest line goes live, then um, I'm going to I'm going to stream it. Um, there's a there's an outlander hero as a reward so i'm pretty excited for that um but yeah i did the update this morning and i was gonna stream fortnite now but the actual quest line doesn't go live until tonight so at reset time that's when i'll check it out okay guys let's do this next campaign one au usually they like lead into what's gonna happen next and they didn't really say but i'm assuming we take this ship somewhere that we stole there it is Zavala's troops are already getting into position around the city cool until we shut this thing down this is cool so I want this as a as a as a background for my desktop uh oh Wow, okay. Guys, this is wild. What is this? We're on the Almighty. Good. You must find the ship's central core and disable its weapon system. Uh, oh. Your best option will be to find okay. the fuel stream. So my like instincts, I wanna jump into this and then flow down there. I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. I think we're supposed to go down here. Um, but if anyone... If anyone did this mission... Is the stream I'm doing on Destiny 2 from the beginning of the game? No, it's not. I started playing this before I... I started playing this game before I started streaming. So I have done some of this stuff um, off stream. At one point, I had an idea of like leveling up a hunter um, and streaming the whole thing. And I started it on PlayStation, but I wasn't happy with the quality. Um, so no, I don't have the whole game of Destiny streamed on stream, unfortunately. I am doing that with Tomb Raider, but I didn't do it with Destiny. And Destiny is such a big game, it would be hard, it would almost be hard to do that. Um, I suppose I could though, because my hunter that I created, I don't think I've ever played her off stream. So that is, that's something to think about Pelican, but as of right now, no, I haven't streamed like the full game from start to finish. You need to disconnect the link between the Almighty and the Sun. Before it disrupts the sun's magnetic field. Oh my gosh. And everything goes boom. Ooh. 
Okay, something's happening here. Ah, what is that? Man, these little things are so annoying. I'm glad they're weak, but like, oh my god. They shoot you from so far, and they're- Oh! Oh! Hello, gladiator! <gasps> Alright, I don't want to die. Why am I taking damage? That was weird. It's telling me to- Oh! Right here! Where's the bridge coming from? Oh! Oh, I'm on it! Ah! <laughs> you guys, this is scary. I don't like scary games, FY. Like, I don't like- I don't enjoy being scared. Okay, I think I just have to- Oh my god, I think I have to run, guys. I don't think I can- Okay, maybe running was not... Maybe running was not the best idea there. I think I need to move tactically through this next section. I thought... As soon as the bridge started extending, I should run across it, but I'm gonna be a little bit more... ...careful. As in, I'm gonna hide until I think it's safe. Okay, yeah, look, I was directly under that. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Good, that's what I was hoping would happen there. I really wanted to die right at the start by shooting myself with a grenade. Oh, man. I do think that a, the grenade launcher is a great way to start this off, though. I'm gonna stay here to get a little bit of cover. Oh, I'm supercharged. Maybe I should supercharge it, guys. I'm gonna supercharge it. Hello, friends! Okay, guys, I think that went really well. It only took me three times. Oh, okay. I guess it's not over. Oh, he's running! Are you running, huh? Yeah, you're scared of me. That's right. I... Yeah, you don't know I just died three times in a row. He ran away. Ha! <laughs> <clears throat> These guys aren't that bad. They're not that scary. Good. I need that purple ammo because I did use up. Oh! I did use up a fair bit of ammo. Um, for my heavy ammo, anyways. Our forces are moving into position outside the city walls. Your signal will start the assault. We'll get the job done, Commander. Ah, this game is so much fun. Mineral processing. The Almighty. That tunnel this looks like a great place for a big force. fight. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Sneaking is not a thing in this game, guys. Uh, if you see me play Tomb Raider or Assassin's Creed, you know I'll always try to pick the sneaky way. There's no sneaky way in Destiny. There's only the loud blow stuff up way. Which is like Doom. 
like the grinders work it's all about it's all about like doom's all about like big guns and like massive destruction and like lots of blood i just like sneaky games where you shoot with like a little arrow or that maybe you have a flaming sword or something you know and this game is a nice a nice mix of that type of stuff oh that's cool it looks like the Red Legion are using the planet Mercury. Mercury, guys, yes, Mercury is where I'm trying to get to. The solar system? That's kind of impressive. This looks like the Death Star, isn't it? All right, let's go um, pick up the fusion cell. Okay. That's radioactive and unstable. Don't hold on to it for too long. It is a lot of fun, Pelican. Looks like the Red Legion used fusion cells to power their machinery. Let's plug it in. Get this thing started. So this is a, this is a common mechanic in this game is putting orbs into things. Oh my gosh, Pelican. Don't even get me started on Skyrim. I love Skyrim. I have spent probably thousands of hours in Skyrim. I have done Skyrim vanilla. I have done it with mods. I have done it with cheats. I have done it without cheats. Um, I've done all the main quest lines in Sky. I like Skyrim is my favorite game ever. Thank you for asking me about Skyrim. Um, and when Elder Scrolls Six comes out, I'm gonna stream it exclusively. So don't even worry about it. Um, yeah, guys, I should maybe stream Skyrim, but it's such an old game nowadays. Like, I want to stream more current games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, actual, an actual pair of sandals. Hello. Welcome to the channel. Yes, that's why I like Destiny, because it has, like, it has guns, but it also has, like, magic, um... And it has so many different ways you can play custom character customization. Like Destiny has so many things that I like. Um, it doesn't have gore really. Like there isn't really blood in Destiny. Things just die. So yeah, Destiny has got a whole a bunch of stuff like hitting a lot of checkboxes that I like in games. Character customization is huge for me. Um, I rarely get really into like a game that doesn't have a high degree of character customization or class um, class customization. Um, and Skyrim just takes that to a whole new level. Um, and um, and Destiny does a great job of it too. You can really customize. Not as much, but you can customize your class. There's a lot of different um, choices you can make when it comes to your abilities. There's tons of different weapons, guys. I don't even know anything about the weapons in this game other than there's um, a lot of them. You can customize your weapon perks. Um, does Destiny have a bow and arrow? Is it like, is there like a crossbow or something I can get in this game? Cause I only have guns. I don't have a bow yet. That would be cool. Find and disable the Almighty's weapon. Oh, okay, I just had to kill that dog, and now this is opening up for me. Spike dog. I should call them something other than dogs, because I don't like saying that I'm like killing dogs. These rocks. <laughs> it's hard to believe that this is one of our planets ground up under our feet. Savala, your group is in position at the city's perimeter. This is a dark, st scary tunnel. We'll take care of it. Understood. Preparing to go radio silent. We can't give the Red Legion any warning. Guardian, I will do all I can to reclaim our home. If we do not meet again, know how proud I am of what you have done. I hope we meet again, guys. I don't think this is the end for us and Zavala. Um, the raids, yes. I am looking forward to doing raids. Guys, raids are like 
now correct me if I'm wrong, Sandals, because it does sound like you know what you're talking about more than I do. Ah! Raids are high level gameplay um, missions that require a high degree of teamwork. And there's each one has special mechanics that you have to learn and work together. I haven't done any raids. I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I don't have like a group or anything that I really play Destiny with yet. And I don't think I'm... I don't think I have like high level... I don't think I'm ready to do raids yet, is, I guess is what I'm saying. But I will be getting into them at some point. Uh, and then we'll definitely be streaming raids. Even if I die a lot. <laughs> Later on, bows will drop for me. Some you can only acquire through the raid. So good to know. Cool. I look forward to that. I love using bows and arrows. And yeah, once I get into doing raids, I'm gonna want all the I'm gonna want all the rewards. You know, I want to be like a real Destiny player. You know, I want to get all the stuff. What is this? Okay. Stay in the shadows. The shadows. So this is like a rain, a sun rainstorm of pain. I'm gonna try to. Oh, it's telling me to go that way. God, it's so bright. Um. It's telling me to go this way. I thought I had to go down there towards the sun more. I think I do. Are those enemies? Yeah, I'm gonna kill them now. I would love for Stadia to get stream connect with Destiny 2. Um, I've been meaning to stream something to show you guys um, stream connect stadia has some really cool features um, specifically stream connect shows you your teammates screens in the top corner of your screen I don't know if they're gonna bring it to destiny I don't think so to be honest I want them to pelican but I don't think they will just because it's up to the game developers so in this case it would be up to Bungie if they want to go back and write stream connect code into the game and I don't think they're going to but most new games that are coming to Stadia they're going to in be including those features like stream connect and other ex Stadia exclusive features in there um, I have Ghost Recon guys I haven't streamed it yet I haven't actually played that much um, but it has stream connect so I'm gonna do a ghost recon stream for you guys and show off some of the exclusive stadia Oh, that's not a shadow show off some of the exclusive stadia features like stream connect so you guys can see it's really cool Doubles is coming back next month a mode for crucible 2v2 deathmatch Glad you're enjoying it like and so thank you sandals Yeah, oh guys there's someone at my door um, I'm just gonna check and see if it's important that I go answer the door or not. Usually it's just not for me. Yeah, it's not for me. It's for someone else. So. Um, 2v2. Yes, the 2v2 mode I think was really popularized with um, Modern Warfare came out. It's really fast paced. It's just a teams of two fight against each other. Um, and it's usually on really small maps. And it's a lot of fun. I'm no good at Crucible, guys, which is the PvP side of Destiny, where you fight other players. I, I'm not very good at it. I mean, I've had a couple good rounds. I've had a few good matches. But overall, I'm not... I'm better at, like, this aspect of the game. Um, but it is a lot of fun. So... Yes, then Sandals, thank you for liking and subbing. If you guys are new here, feel free to sub or drop a like. Um, it really helps the channel and uh, we have been growing. So it's so great to see new faces in here and uh, have new people giving me tips and, you know, giving me heads up about things. Okay, someone's shooting me, guys. Let me just stay focused here. Yeah! <laughs> this is cool. I have to say, fighting through a sunstorm 
that was pretty fun. Um, and I think that uh, helps show some of the uh, graphics. The good graphics that Destiny has. And you can see that on Stadia too. I've played Destiny on... You know your path. You don't need our guidance anymore. If my journey ends today, then I face it gladly. So I'm just listening to what she was saying there. God, they're acting like everybody's about to die. I don't think everyone's about to die here. I hope not. Maybe me, but... <laughs> um... I lost my train of thought, guys. Let's keep going here, though. Oh, yeah, Destiny. I've played Destiny on PlayStation and on Stadia, and I personally think it looks better on Stadia. Um, there's definitely less loading times, and I find everything just looks a little bit more real on the Stadia than on the PlayStation. On the PlayStation, things are a little bit... Blurry, maybe is the word, but yeah, I think the, that the game looks fantastic on Stadia. No problem. Ah! <laughs> okay, I just shot his head off. That was kind of gross. Oh, I threw a grenade, but it stuck to his head, and then he ran at me, and I took some damage there, but... Isn't there a big thing after me? Did I kill it? Okay. I hear... Ah! I could hear an enemy even though I didn't know where he was. Okay, we gotta go this way. Or... This way. Oh, do I gotta go up? Oh, I gotta go up. I see. We must go upward. Which sounds like something Zavala would say. Is this a ladder? I don't think there's ladders in this game. Um, there must be a button or something. There must be a button up here. Oh, <laughs> ah, I see. It's a ramp. Okay. I hope that nobody who knows what to do is watching right there because that seems silly. It's a ramp. You jump up. Yeah, this game doesn't have ladders. So I was like, I don't think it's... There's no ladder. There's no climb ladder like button. Okay, guys. Let's keep going. I'm fully charged. I got my supercharge ready to go. I always try to save, like, I think that's why I don't frequently use my supercharge. Because I'm constantly thinking, like, I gotta save it till I'm in trouble. Like, I gotta save it until there's a big boss or something, you know? You have to be Lara Croft to get up there. Yeah, she'd get up there no problem. She would just use her ice picks and like her ropes and yeah. Lara Croft is a highly mobile character uh, as far as video game characters go. Destiny, the biggest cool thing I find about Destiny mobility is the floating. The double jump. All characters have um, a slightly different kind of jumping perk. So the warlocks jump and glide. The hunters have a double jump. And I don't know what titans have. I've never played as a titan, so I don't actually know. Pelican, you might know, but you, you don't really learn about your different class abilities till later in the game. But if anyone's played as a titan, you guys can tell me what the titan special jump is. My controller is like vibrating slightly, which makes me think that we're in danger. Um. See those tubes? That's how we get to the weapon core. Tubes. These tubes? Huh. I suppose that means I'm gonna have to go down one. I don't really want to. 
Because I bet it's super dangerous and painful, but let's go. They see me. I woke them up. I'm gonna try to clear away before I go down there. Usually when I die in this game, it's because I rush into enemies before kind of clearing them away a little. Um, and I find that helps during the different missions that you do, or not missions, strikes and stuff. It definitely pays to kind of shoot away forward first before you start trying to get somewhere. And this is actually easy. They can't get up here, so I'm just gonna hide up here and kill them all. Look at them! <laughs> Look at them just poking their heads up. Why don't they go around? That's so that's so funny. Man, I love NPC AI. Or mob, mob AI, I guess. These these aren't really NPCs because they're hostile. All right, that should be enough for my precision kills. I know I was after precision hits. <gasps> what was that? That blue energy, that was crazy. <gasps> ah! Oh no, guys, I fell into the pit. Ah! <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, oh my God. Oh, thank, okay. I'm pretty sure that would kill me if I, like, it would grind me up like a meat grinder. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going ahead. Um, I was going to try to clear out all the enemies. And I was just about to say that's not necessary. Okay, it must have to go up here. Am I supposed to go in this tube? I think I might die, guys. Oh no, it's the way, it's the way. Look, and we're going. <laughs> okay. Shh, we are gonna get blasted out the other side of this and probably die. <laughs> How on earth would you survive that? Come on. Well, we're just going through the pipes, so I guess we'll just keep on going. <gasps> Hi! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Interceptors. It's like they're begging us to blow this place up. One sec, guys. I just have to check. Okay, guys. Let's keep going here. I think it's another tank. Yeah. Oh, well, not tank, but All right, let's test this out and see what kind of weapons This doesn't seem right. There we go. <laughs> I haven't tried guilt yet, guys. Um I wish it came for free on Stadia and I would definitely stream it. Um but it doesn't I 
I don't know a lot about it. I what I saw of it, see, I kind of thought it was like for kids, and I could be totally wrong about that. Have you have have you or anyone here tried Guilt? It's a Stadia exclusive game, so it's not available on any platform except Stadia. Um, but I haven't tried it because it it's sort of it's like a mystery story, I guess. Um, but it kind of looked like it was for kids more so, so I didn't really look too closely into it. But if it goes on sale or if they'd release it for free, I would definitely play it and stream it and try it out. Wow. That's... Wow. Hey David, how's it going? I'm playing a little bit of Destiny today. Nice to see you again. Good. I always like to know that everybody's doing well in my chat. Okay. This is this is a much more mobile vehicle than the tank. So I think that staying moving around is going to be an important tactic here. And let's try to It's telling me to go over Okay, guys, let's get the other one. Is it in the next room? Yeah, all right. I think I have to get out of this. Okay, guys, this is getting next level. I saw they added the heavy AR back to um, Fortnite. I think I have to kill this one without that little thing. And they also made added a new mechanic, so you can upgrade your regular AR to a heavy AR um, at the upgrade stations, if you so desire. <clears throat> so yeah, lots of changes. I'm planning a Fortnite stream tonight, actually, David, to check out the new Save the World questline. All right, I'm going to try to shoot one of these in there. That's two. Last one should be ventilating the core. Okay. It's over here. All right, I'll kill those guys if they tra if they chase me. Oh, they chase me! Okay, stuff is heating up in here, and I mean, the only way to get it is oh, that's interesting. So the only way to get the heavy IR is to, they call it side grading. Which is like you, it's like an upgrade, but you're actually trans transforming your regular, regular AR into a heavy. Instead of upgrading the rarity of it, which is usually what you do at the upgrade tables. There we go. Did that not do it? Oh my gosh. Is, am, I, am I looking at the wrong thing, guys? I think I maybe did the wrong thing. No. No, I didn't. I take it back. I did the right thing. How did that not annihilate them? Twenty each material. That's cheap. I I read that they lowered the cost, which is good because I think it was too expensive. Anytime I wanted to upgrade a weapon before, but it's not enough. We need to disrupt the core itself. Ah! Oh, there's a vehicle dispensary right here. Ah! All right.
right, guys, let's do it. <clears throat> I don't think that's right, even with the... I think it's telling me to actually go somewhere else. Um, do I have to go in there? Oh, I have to go in there. Okay, I can't take the vehicle in there with me, so... Um, good idea, but I think you actually have to leave the vehicle to get through this little place here. Ah! A fusion cell! See, that's the con- that- they love this mechanic of putting- uh-oh. I don't want to walk on this. Ah! <laughs> so you can't take the vehicle all the way, but... I'm running as fast as I can. Kavala, the weapon is destroyed. Start the attack. Okay, guys, everything is falling apart. This is like a Tomb Raider part. You Tomb Raider loves these little running and jumping. There's my ship, guys. Yes. A Minecraft stream. I will look into doing a Minecraft stream. Right now, I actually don't have a way to stream my computer, so I can only stream Stadia and PlayStation games. But I'm going to look into seeing if I can somehow stream my computer and then do a Minecraft stream. Because I actually do have a cute little town on Minecraft that I'd love to show you guys. It started out as like a farm, and now my main house is like my farmhouse. Look at Cade! That's a good job, Colonel. <laughs> What's that now? Um, Seven in a row? Yeah, who needs the light when you got But now my farmhouse, or my house right? became like a farmhouse, right, and I want to build right. kind of a fancy mansion on like the side of this hill. And I have horses and sheep, and I have a little village. I have a couple little villages where villagers live. Um, and I built an underground yeah. railroad. It's pretty yeah. cool. So That's I will try to figure out a way to bring you guys a Minecraft Zavala stream because David, yeah, I know you want Minecraft. Zavala. And Zavala. a couple other people have Zavala. requested Zavala. Minecraft as well. Zavala. Moon really Zavala. likes, he, Moon wants a Minecraft stream too. Shout out to Moon. He usually can't come to the day streams, but. So here's all of our heroes fighting together. Zavala, Cade, and Shax, I think. Or no, not Shax. I can't remember all their names. But it's the three main like character heroes. Okay, let's go. Savala, we're coming around. Honestly, the game looks as good as these cinematics, in my opinion. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's Sir. With you guardians falling down all the time. Sir, Sir Yana, Siana. She's got a little sniper rifle. I I don't the use plan. the sniper rifle or the scout rifle that often. Awesome. Where he needs to be. Now we just gotta get you and Ikora up there with him. Your streams are 7 a.m. Oh, so they're all early well, for you. This changes things. I started today's stream around. You need to get moving. Ikora. I can't. Kate One or two o'clock my time. Good luck. About three hours ago. Guardian. So yeah, around one o'clock. One quarter after one, maybe. Ah, good job, heroes. So this is making a little bit more sense now. So I'm guessing now this is the tower. Um, I 
I think, which is like now the gathering place we go instead of the farm. But it's confusing because when you first start out in Destiny 2 now, you start at the tower. So it's confusing. You're in Australia. Oh, David, I don't think I knew you were in Australia. Awesome. Yeah, we're on complete opposite sides then of the of the actual planet. Throughout this cursed system, you would know this if you hadn't been wasting your time communing with a machine and the creature who claims to speak with Take care of your tone, console. <clears throat> My tone? Huh. We will fail in our mission to secure this power and deliver our people. For the first time in the glorious history of the Red Legion, fail. Because they failed because of me. And your preoccupation. No, it's not him. It's because of me. Look at your traveler, Dominus. The cage is complete. The time is now. Claim what is rightfully yours and take this power. <clears throat> yeah, I am sorry to hear about the fires that are there. Um, I know you guys have lost a lot of homes and some lives. And animals as well. I've been hearing about a lot of um, destruction there. So I hope that where you are is safe. I never said it spoke to me. He never said it spoke to him, but he's the speaker, I guess. Maybe not the listener. Oh, who freed him? This fixation is over. You have already been chosen, not by some inert machine, but by me. This guy's I fed up. You. He's Today fed up. I found you. Remember who you are. What you are. You are Kamal. Kamal wait for nothing. You will take the light. Do what you swore and give me the vengeance you promised. Look at me, student. Oh, that's his mentor. Well, I'm glad you're that you're doing okay, David. You have a brother in Australia. There you go, small world, guys. Yeah, I knew that it probably wasn't going to be a good idea to cross that guy. And what about the speaker? Did he die when he fell out of that thing? I have a f I have a few unanswered questions about that cutscene, but I'm sure that in time all of our questions will be answered. Good. So that seemed like an important piece of the puzzle. So the next thing I'm going to do is this one. The Almighty is finished, right? We destroyed it. Time to go home, save the traveler, take back the city, and end this war. Be brave. The last city. So <laughs> that sounds like quite the big mission. So I think we will come to that maybe next time. Because um, I think I don't. I think I'm gonna end it there. I don't know if I want to do get involved in another um, another mission at this time. I may look up to see how long until we get to Mercury, guys, because I wanted to um, visit that city or visit that planet and do some things there. But it seems like I may have to carry on with some more Red War stuff before getting there makes sense. Um, maybe I'll do one more. I'm, feel I'm feeling good. I think maybe let's do this one and see if maybe then it takes us to Mercury. Um, we'll try that and see. So let's do one more, guys, before I end it. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. In Save the World, no new quest lines. The, qu the new quest lines for Save the World are coming out tonight at reset time. So I'm planning on doing a stream then, David. And I want to do um, all of them, basically. 
Um, I don't know if I can do them all in one stream. It just depends on how long the quest line is. If it's just like a couple pages of quests, I can probably do them all in What's one stream, which is what I'd like to do. But yeah, that stuff, the new Save the World content, guys, is coming out tonight at reset time. The lore in Destiny is deep. Yeah, I agree. That's me. <laughs> Yeah, the lore in Destiny is amazing. And I'm trying to pay attention to like learn it all and learn the story. But I really, really wish I had known how good Destiny was when it first was released. So that I could have played through the content as it was released. Um, cool. Uh, because it's so confusing now. It's hard to know what to do. And David, yeah, tonight when I do Fortnite, we can definitely play. I'm pretty sure the the quests will be for like any level, so yeah, we can we can squad up and do them together. Yeah, let's use the teleporter, guys. So this I can tell from like the decorations. I can hack into the grid and knock it down for short stretches. Stand by. This will become the tower where we hang out now. I see a guy down there, a Jimmy guy. Yeah, this this is the tower. I recognize some of the areas, sort of, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see where do we go, guys. Fight your way through the last city ruins and rejoin your allies. That sounds like fun. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's... <laughs> uh, do I just jump? Hawthorne has disabled the Red Legion barrier network. That's good. Do I go down? I thought she said she was going to turn on a teleporter. Do I go up? Okay, guys, I'm going to try going up. Oh, no, no. Okay. Am I supposed to go down, maybe? Guys, I think I'm just supposed to go down. <laughs> okay, guys. The people who are here for the live streams get to see all the stupid mistakes I make. And then if I make a YouTube video out of it, I can just crop it out and uh, look smart. Ripple vs. Sludge and 8-Ball vs. Scratch. And in two weeks cameo versus chic what do you mean by that David like this what do you mean by that are they gonna fight it's possible I missed some information here all right guys let's fight our way um, through the city and reunite with our friends It is confusing, yeah. That was... it. For some reason, it was like misty at the bottom, and I just thought if I jumped down there, I would die, but... There you go. Oh, hey, hey, I jumped right over you, but you weren't expecting that. I disabled the barrier. Get moving. Oh, she disabled it for me. Oh. Is that not the barrier? <clears throat> I agree. From the very start, this mission was confusing. Oh yeah, that's the barrier she talked about. Okay. Okay. We're through. 
Hey, Jimmy. Roger that. We're almost at the rally point. Kate, is the teleporter active? So Destiny is an online game, guys. So you will encounter other players playing um, as you play. With some exceptions, depending on like the type of mission you're doing. Where is he? I want an emote. There's emotes in this game. See? Purple blob guy and eight ball. So, oh, to vote on. To vote to bring back to the store. Is that what you mean, David? That's cool. Yeah, guys, Fortnite has been doing this thing where, assuming that's what you mean, David, I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. Um, they let the community vote on what skin do you want to come back to the store to be able to purchase again. So if there's a skin that you didn't buy the first time that you wish you had, or like maybe you didn't have enough V-Bucks at the time, you can vote for them to come back. And then they'll be in the store for like 24 hours or whatever. Although I do have to say, guys, um, Fortnite released, I, I don't know if you saw it, David, the Ninja skin, or anyone who's interested in Fortnite. Um, Ninja is probably the biggest Hello, content creator for Fortnite. Um, honestly, he's probably the biggest sh streamer for games in general right now. Um, and Fortnite made a skin for him, so you can play as Ninja, and his his signature dance is there. Um, the Ninja skin has four different styles, and I actually think it's amazing. I think it is so cool that Epic is recognizing content creators. Um, even more so than they have already. Um, and are including them in the game with skins? I mean, it's unreal. So... I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get that ninja skin myself, um, but I think it's amazing that they're making uh, skins for content creators. I think it's so cool. I would love to see, um, so ninja has one, um, and a couple other who, a couple other creators I'm not as familiar with have, um, have e emotes or styles coming to, to Fortnite. And I would love to see, like, a Dr. Disrespect skin or, like, something like that. So, um, I'll definitely be keeping an eye to see what Fortnite releases next. Yeah, guys, I'm just ripping it up in here. This mission... I think I have the right weapon type for this. because it's lining up perfectly. Did I miss my chance to go through here or what? I guess I just have to keep fighting here. Or not. I take it back, guys. I'm glad I realized I could go through that because I was just gonna stand there forever sh killing those guys. Oh, challenges for the skins. That's cool. I just want Remedy vs. Toxin. <laughs> I'm still working on that. <laughs> That's my favorite skin. Um, but I'll check out some of the new ones. That's cool. I didn't see that announcement, David. So thank you for telling me. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Ouch, buddy. Okay, that guy. I did not enjoy getting sliced up by that that guy's cleavers. Alright, I'm gonna keep heading towards my goal here. Whew. 
<laughs> um, I'll be doing Fortnite tonight, not this stream though, David. Okay, I think I gotta go this way. No. I gotta go through this little side alley that I saw. I almost. Oh! Oh! No. We can't hold this position much longer. Up. They're coming at us from all sides. We need your help, Guardian. I'm coming, guys. <laughs> we need your help, Guardian. Seriously, I gotta do everything myself. Guys, this is so pretty. This is. I said Mercury was my favorite, but exploring this area is my favorite. The traveler. Gaul found a way to drain his <gasps> light. It's oh, he looks very close. Guardian, we have to stop him. If he takes the light, it's over. See, that makes me think. I will die if I go down there. So I'm gonna try to stay up. I know last time going down was the right thing, but I think this is more like a jumping puzzle scenario. <gasps> okay. All right, let's get a little bit closer. I see you guys up there. Oh, oh, oh no! Okay, that hurt. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide under here for a second. <sighs> gotcha! Okay, I will come up to you then. <gasps> see you later, sucker! <laughs> That was very satisfying. Okay, so it's telling me to go this way. I'm guessing I go like this. <clears throat> Ikora, Kane. We don't make it out of this alive. Know that I've never been prouder to be part of your body. Okay, I think I may have to die. To die. At least um. we'll die in the shadow of the traveler, old friend. We're about to die and you're still making speeches? So the traveler is where they get their power from. And it's not so much as a challenger as it is this huge sort of planet thing in the sky. And because the guardians get their power from it, they they act like it's like God to them. It's like... So that's why they're like, well, at least if we die, it will be under the Traveler. Because that's like, they worship the Traveler as like their... Ah! As their deity, almost. I said there were no ladders, but the here's a ladder. But like, you can't climb it. You can just pretend as you jump. How is he immune to that? I shot him in the side. Okay, we need to get closer. 